Hello, uh, it's Neil here again from KS Energy. Okay, I really should start scripting these things because I know what I'm going to do in my head, but um, I'm just making this speech up as I go along. But let's go for it anyway. Um, I'm sure I'll get better at these videos as they go along. So, right, what it is then today is we're going to take a look at the sort of current that a KS Energy Libium battery is going to draw um, when it's in situ running in um, a modern day motorhome. So what we've got here is we've got um, a Swift there, two years old, pretty bog standard. It's uh, using charge from its Giacchetto engine, uh, which I believe is a 150 amp standard alternator and that's going through uh, wiring that's I don't know whether it's been commissioned by Sargent or whether Sargent design it and sell it to Swift I don't know quite how that's work, working out but I've spoken to um, the company that's actually designed the system Swift um, Sargent and they tell me that they've made no special provisions at all for current limiting for charging these leisure batteries. Okay, so this is um, how this works. This is this Sargent distribution box um, that they built here. Uh, that seems fairly EC651. You can see there is the model. Um, yeah, so this seems fairly standard fare across the... Uh, the Swift motorhome range at the moment, what they're building. And the way it works, I'll just give you a quick overview, it's fairly simple. The vehicle 12 volts, positive and, positive and negative, come in here, uh, whilst the leisure batteries, positive and negative, comes in on these two here. Up here, I think uh, from memory it may be this one. Um, I'll show you if I can remember when I'm... Um, looking at the wiring I'll give you another shot inside the van in a minute um, but when you start the engine there's a an engine sense that um, brings 12 volts up here so that uh, the uh, control box here and the CPU knows what to do it knows the engines running as soon as the engines running it then after a very short delay switches in this relay that simply connect these two terminals here with your battery for the leisure and your battery um, for the motorhome together so effectively you're you're uh, you're then dual charging your batteries you've got um, your alternator charging both the Ducato battery and the leisure battery uh, so they're synced together it's really that simple so the Passenger seat here we have a 100 amp hour KS100 model 12 volt lithium ion phosphate battery. So that's what we're going to be charging. I've run this battery flat. Uh, so this is quite important because this then minimizes the internal DC resistance of the battery and it's going to therefore draw the maximum possible current it can once the engine's running from the alternator and the only thing limiting that cur current is the internal resistance of the battery itself plus the internal resistance of the wiring uh, through those devices that I've shown you so far and the distribution box and this is where the sergeant um, control box uh, drops in to the uh, wiring here and so the two connections I was talking about is this is your 12 volts coming in from the Ducato um, you can see what uh, they've done is they've just and in fact they've done it on here as well that's the leisure off to the leisure battery brown positive black negative and your red and black for positive and negative there. They've run two cables there to the connector. Um, so each cable's bringing your supply in. 
rather than having a thick cable um, whether that's keeping costs down it's probably a bit more efficient so that they can use in the design I should imagine so that they can use smaller connectors here for the current it's got to carry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these connectors together um, that's what would be happening in the sergeant when the engine's running but we're going to take then a look at the current that uh, is being drawn by the KS Energy battery in situ being charged um, so give me a moment and I shall connect this all up for you and here we go approaching the moment of truth so these two connectors are connected parallel now so that's our uh, flat KS Energy ledger battery connected in parallel to the vehicle's battery the vehicle battery is now just effectively started I suppose putting some um, energy of its own even though the engine's not running back into the leisure battery because the ba leisure battery had fallen below um, 12 volts and eventually it had got uh, to the point where the internal battery management system had shut that off so it's now back on it's 12.66 volts there the ignition is on here, but the engine is not running. I shall start that in a, in a second. Um, I've got my clamp meter in place down here. So I'm going to start the battery and we'll see we'll, uh, the, the engine and we'll see what current um, this is going to put into the leisure battery. Here goes. Okay, it's running nicely. Tick over see what we have on the clamp meter there we go it's now charging at 18.5 amps let's take a look at the voltage and uh, at that current here we go so we've got almost 14 volts on the button there coming in from the alternator so that's great. I'll summarise in a moment. Uh, before I forget um, there, let's see if I can find that vehicle sense wire uh, for you. Do, do, do. Yeah, here we go. So this, this sense wire um, comes in on this connector here, the white one. And it's this blue and white striped button. So what I've been doing is I've actually been tapping that off for another project I'm working on. Okay, yeah, so to summarise, this is really following on from that uh, last video blog I did where I showed you um, two parallel KS Energy 100 amp batteries, tandem together, connected directly to the Ducato's battery and alternator um, using... I was using a 100 amp rated starter cable um, so I had minimum resistance and I was loading up and stressing the alternator um, to its max so if you remember rightly I was nearly approaching um, 100 amps wasn't I? I think it was I think you know at one stage we had 95 amps of um, charge going straight into that um, those two twin batteries uh, so that was fab I mean you know they were charging at double quick rate compared to what we would see um, ordinarily and of course that's fine because those Livium batteries are designed to do that but uh, this is just simply what's going to happen if you drop this into your standard Ducato fare um, as wired originally by factory default and the charging system that's Swift have put together um, with the help of Sargent and as you can see What's going to happen when you've got a flat Livium battery here? It's going to draw off the alternator all it can get, um, but that's going to be limited by the internal resistance of those twin wires going from the uh, Ducato battery to the EC651 Sergeant control box for its relay back to the leisure battery 
but again via those twin wirings and those connectors I was showing you via its 25 amp fuse and uh, yeah we were approaching 20 amps of um, roughly 20 amps of charge current being put into the Leisure battery, the lithium Leisure battery there. Um, so there's absolutely no issues there at all. Um, working well with tolerance. Swift themselves say if you have twin batteries, uprate your fuse to 30 amps. So with a single battery there, we're, we're uh, at um, 20 amps. So no issues there whatsoever. Um, showing that the KS Energy battery is... Um, a drop-in replacement for the original lead battery um, is just spot on and well within the design manufacturers specifications of uh, the Swift Rio range certainly using the 651 um, the sergeant box so I hope that's been helpful to you and uh, I'll have to edit this put this together and perhaps next time I might script this um, Blog. But let me know what you think, keep your comments coming and uh, speak to you next time. Bye for now.